and th thanks for joining us for another Molly Motorsports tech presentation. We've been focusing on some piston related failures, issues, and analysis, and today we're going to continue in that theme and go over a few brief ideas related to skirt wear and different types of skirt wear. Starting with the most extreme case, here we have an example of very severe scuffing, scoring, seizure of the piston. Um, there are many reasons that, that we, can, we can see this issue in the engine, some of which uh, you know, most common are overheating, uh, extreme cases of lack of piston to wall clearance, lubrication issues. Um, we'll cover some more of these topics in depth in, other, in either other videos that we've done or will be doing in the, in the very near future. Uh, but looking at some of the less severe cases and less well known or documented issues, here we have what is very typical of debris in the engine, whether it was introduced during running or left there upon assembly. Uh, particularly with our coated pistons, we can see very easily there are specks of material, there's vertical scratches and streaking in the coating. Um, to a very minor degree, this, this piston wouldn't have, or the debris wouldn't have had a functional effect on this piston as it was running, but upon disassembly, it's very easy to see. Um, taking that one step further, our next example is a much more severe case of, of debris where um, we see lots of vertical scratches, lots of material tracking in the, in the skirt coating, and we also notice there's a, almost a matte finish to the wear that we do see on the piston. That matte finish and the, and the, the lines and, and scratching that we see is, is, is very typical of uh, debris or foreign material being in the engine. If we contrast that to the next sample where we have some of the same concentrated wear in the center of the piston, um, both sides of the skirts, uh, what we notice is that the wear spot is, is shiny or almost polished. Um, this is more typical of a, of a part that has either shape or clearance issues as opposed to the debris contamination issues that we saw prior. Um, in this particular part we happen to know that we had some shape issues that we were working on and there was some excess rock in the piston which we're seeing multiple contact patterns on both skirts. Um, this is a case where some profile development would help alleviate the issues that we're seeing on the skirt. If the piston to wall clearance is truly an issue, in those cases, typically you'll see fairly symmetric wear or wear pattern on both skirts of the piston as the piston is, is tight in the cylinder wall bore. This particular case is, is just starting to wear through the coating and we're seeing the, the exposed aluminum underneath. Um, very light wear, not, again, not posing a functional issue, but in, in reality, this particular part likely could have used just a tick more piston to wall clearance uh, for the application. The end result, when all the factors are right, is you can have a, a part that comes out looking just as good as it did when it was assembled in the engine. Overall, we have a multitude of different conditions here, some of which are difficult to describe in words or put into descriptions. Pictures can help, but it's not always easy to show all facets of, of what's happening um, on a 2D photograph. Certainly, parts in hand are always the, the best route for either analyzing issues, problems, or looking for potential performance gains. That's going to wrap us up for today. We appreciate you watching, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and YouTube as we roll out more in-depth videos on specific piston issues and analysis.